Hi, welcome to PrepMod training. Today we will be covering the functions of registration and record search. Once you have logged in to PrepMod, uh, again, go into manage clinics and users. And first we will uh, look at what a clinic flow looks like um, on the day of a clinic. So you will find your clinic and we'll just select one from the top of the list here. And you will you go into registration list and you will see all of the people who are registered for this particular clinic on this date and time. And again, this is a staging environment. There's just one person on the list. From this view, you can select everybody and download the registration list. You can select everybody and email vaccination records to them. Although you may not know which ones don't have emails on those accounts, so you won't necessarily know who you've missed. Um, you can email reminders with that same caveat about not knowing who doesn't have an email in the system. Um, you can select everybody for the clinic that day and pull open a bulk view of the consent files uh, for reference. Um, and from registration, you also have the ability to add more patients. So this is particularly useful at the end of the day when you're trying not to leave any doses left in the vials and you wanna add more patients or just the usual juggling around of appointments that occurs um, from time to time. In the registration list, you can view the consent. So you would select the person from the list and click on the blue button to view consent and it will open a file, an HTML file, and then open in a new window. Um, I'm not gonna do that today because we are recording this, but in other videos, I have shown that. If you select the hyperlink for the person's name, you will go into a records review screen and it will provide you with the basic information for this particular uh, client um, including if they've been vaccinated, you know, the vaccination, the appointments they may have, and any other information. From this screen only, you can view consent and then go back to records. Um, so that takes me back to the registration list for the clinic. Once you, so there is no check-in that is equivalent to the type of check-in people are doing in the other in the other system. So um, from that perspective, there is not the same type of functionality. The list of appointments will be shown here. Um, it will tell you the person's name, whether it's first or second dose or date of birth, how old they are, their uh, gender if given and the appointment time and their occupation. And then if they had a first dose, it will tell you which uh, vaccine it was if the client was able to give it to you. Um, so that's, that's how you do registration at this point is entirely up to you. We do recommend uh, um, downloading the registration list either from this particular window or going up to the top and going to customize reports and going to the clinic report there. Um, so if you go to customize reports and you select the clinic report and you can get the registration list with the personal contact information, um, all the screening questions, vaccines requested and um, total patients registered, total vaccinated when it's over. So those are very helpful. So going back over to the clinic, um, we have looked at the registration list uh, menu, let's go into clinic activity. Now you've got a person that has come in, they have, you, you know they are present in the clinic um, using whatever your method is, and it is time now for them to sit in the vaccination chair. Your vaccinators or whoever is documenting the vaccination will come to the bottom of the clinic activity screen. They will find their patient either by searching on their name or um, visually finding them if they happen to appear at the top of the list. And then from here, um, you would document the encounter. And this is either vaccinated, refused, sick, absent, or withdrawn. And the remark field is grayed out, but the remark field will be available once you've selected one of these radial buttons. So for example, if I select absent and withdrawn because they were a no-show, in a second that turns blue and now I can make a remark. Um, likewise, if I choose vaccinated, 
the vaccinated window pops open and I'm gonna to have to show you in a different clinic because I um, don't have all of the um, data in this um, clinic to show you. So we will close this and we will continue until um, I've shown you uh, the rest of the features here. So once you, let's say this person is absent and withdrawn, we can make a remark here and we can say simply they were, um, uh, no show for 10 a.m. arrived at 2 p.m. and will, you know, whatever. That's, and then you just update. Okay. Um, all right. Let's look at the vaccination again. I've taken a break and I've set things up a little bit better and we'll go down and we will vaccinate me. When you select vaccinated, you um, will see this dialogue window pop up. At the top will be the client's name and then whatever vaccines are available for that clinic will be listed here. So typically there shouldn't be too many listed because you'll usually be giving Moderna or Pfizer and occasionally both. Um, but as we progress throughout the year and more vaccines come available, this may grow. You do need to check the box next to the name. It defaults to the IM root, which is correct. And then it defaults to right arm. So you can select left arm off of there. Uh, and then you can indicate if there were no um, reactions and then the vaccination date, um, it will either pre-populate or it will ask you to click in here and select from the um, calendar. Uh, we are getting clarity on general reaction because that feels a little redundant to reaction, but go ahead and um, select none or whatever the case may be that applies. And then go to the vaccinator list and you will be able to um, select a vaccinator. If the vaccinator who administered this is not on your list, you will need to go to the venue or the local admin in charge of the clinic and get them to add that person because you can't complete this screen unless they're um, listed here. So this is one of the things that the local and venue admins are checking first thing in the morning um, when they know everybody's arrived and just before clinic is starting there. This is one of the tasks that they will um, be doing is checking that this list is complete. Uh, then if it's the second dose, then you would indicate yes to the second, um, to the completing the series question, but this isn't. And then you update the record. And because I previously documented that the um, person was a no show, I get the validation window. Hey, you've already documented this client or this client has already been documented. Are you sure you want to change it? Which should give your staff pause. They should always um, check that they've got the right patient and they're doing the right record. Um, so if they get this, please ask them initially to really uh, look. Um, I do know I was vaccinating Sue Skidmore, so yes, I want to change it because I know what I've been doing here with this demo. Um, and then it saves it and it takes you back to the clinic activity form where you can scroll down and if there are more people on the list, you would pick the next person to vaccinate that's sitting in your chair. And at that point, unless you have to update any of the answers to the health questionnaire, health screening questions, you are done. Um, and you would update the health screening questions by going into remark, as I showed you before. The other thing you may need to do over the course of a encounter with a client is they may present and say, you've got my date of birth incorrect or you spelled my name wrong. And so if that's the case, you go up to record search and let's type in Grover, because I know Grover's in here and we'll search and we've got Grover Grover and Lewis Grover. So we'll go into mine and I don't wanna click on his name because that takes me just to the record information, the basic information. Um, I'm gonna look over here at the blue buttons and find which one I want. Um, you're not gonna be deleting anyone and just be reassured that deleting just removes them from the list. It doesn't truly remove them from the database. Um, enter and encounter is not where we're documenting things. So the only thing left to you is edit. And when you select edit, it puts you into the first page of the registration form and allows you to edit or correct any of the um, registration demographic information, date of birth, their 
name, spelling, their gender, their email, their phone, their date of birth, I think I said that, their home address, insurance, whatever. Um, and then you can save and continue. All right, and then when they're done, when you're done with the client's vaccination, then they can go into observation. And at that point, it's good practice if you have it set up to get them registered for their second dose appointment before they leave their first appointment with you. And that's all there is today on registration and record search. And thank you for coming to the PrepMod training.